Hey folks, welcome back. So we're going to do a quick little walk around of the Terrapin, and kind of the impressions video. Um, I actually really, really like this ship. And it's way overpriced for, uh, for Pledge, but it has got a crazy amount of detail. And there, there are two things that I, I don't like about it, or two things that I kind of wish that they would uh, improve. But that's, that's it. I mean, it's not a lot of negatives. Uh, it's supposed to be an exploration ship. Exploration functionality doesn't exist in the game. But one is no, no button entry, this area of effect uh, door. But it, it opens relatively pretty quick. But the issue I have is trying to close it. Like you, like you have to be exactly right here in the right corner. Because if you try to try to close it, oh, now it works. Usually I can't get it to close, and I'm walking back and forth. Um, the uh, and then you have to do the area effect close. But it's a fully featured. You know, it's got a it's got a bathroom, it's got a bed. Uh, I've already loaded out the, um, the weapons rack, and with the new insurance functionality, uh, if you use a weapon and die, you can retrieve those weapons. Um, the scanner chair doesn't work. The scanner chair doesn't work. Like, you can sit in it, but it has no functionality, so when that, I don't know if that gameplay loop ever um, is ever implemented, but it's a place for, a, you know, to, to do bunk bunker missions together. What I like about this ship is that it has um, two size two shields, and the whole hip, uh, whole hit points and the uh, shields is just incredibly tanky, incredibly tanky. And then you still have the fidelity, like you can open up the compartments, and and you know you can see everything. So it's got that level of fidelity that I like in all the modules. And, you know, you can open up all this stuff, which you see the shield generators. It flies wonderful. It's, I mean, it's, it's kind of a little, um, it's not in that same ballpark as, as a fighter ship, but it, it maneuvers nicely. And you know how sometimes when you land, it, it feels sketchy? Um, another nice aspect of it is that uh, full array. So I never have to change any of the MFDs. They, they're pretty much... Oh, somebody's going to torpedo into the... You can hear it. Here it comes. No, he, he, he's okay. Uh, is these lights right here. These lights, I wish they were a red, like a military red light, or you could turn them off. That's my only cockpit negative. Um, you know, it, it's going to... Your, your transition phase from the green to the red is low but it's not like it's not a, a combat maneuverability ship that's supposed to be an exploration ship but let me just show you we're gonna go uh engines on and then we're gonna go alt k and i want to show you is it is it k i don't know if that was server lag or but you see you got the vtol and then uh you take off and then you can go do your landing gear so everything's modeled and, you know, it even armors up. And it's just got incredible, you know, and then you hit K again. Yeah. Oh, shit. And then, uh, me, me, I'm going to fly, and I'm flying to Hurston right now, or Lauraville. Let me, um, you know, and so the only, the I got two complaints. Um, one is it's not feature complete, you know, an exploration. I don't know when exploration will ever, ever populate in the game. Um, two, look, look how sick that is. Uh, two is, is no button on the door. And then uh, three are the lights in the cockpit. But the, you know, that, the door and the, and the lights in the cockpit are not, um, not, you know, deal breakers. They're not deal breakers. Um, the, the display is fantastic. Right, fidelity is amazing. Let's see what the the I think they call it the, the SCM speed. Let's, let's bring it down. We'll just cap it right here. Let's see where it stops. So it's not it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But this thing, let me uh, once I get going on my quantum here, I'll pull up the. Uh, there's no paints for it either, which is kind of like I'm surprised they haven't done any paints for this. It must be a low seller where they can't justify um, any of the paint jobs. 
but usually I can get all the way across the galaxy with no current fuel, right, required fuel. Like this thing can usually make a couple trips across the galaxy, which is, which is nice. And another issue that I've been kind of noticing with the, uh, the Anvil ships is that, is, let me move this, move this away from the sun so that way it's a little easier, is that this ring, this quantum drive ring, a lot of times will be out of resolution or really blurry. Like it's in the, in the uh, Aegis ships, it's nice and crisp. But on the Anvil ships, usually whatever, whatever graphic that they're using on all of them is just distorted or just looks like doo-doo. So it's one of those things where this is not bad. This is, this is one of the newer ships, so they've kind of done their... I kind of wish that you could have a slider and you could use the slider to minimize and maximize this thing. Because like on the Hornets, it's brutal. It's just way, way out of distortion. Oh it's, it's a mess. Um, but I wanted to, you know, it's got the same, same visual graphic. It must have spent a lot of time with all the, the nuance of this thing. Um, look, it's got its little beacon light. It's, I mean, it flies wonderful. I actually like it a lot for bunker missions because in the past I would run into issues where, um, you know, you finish the mission and then for whatever reason it deems you a trespasser and then it starts shooting at your ship. This thing was so tanky, I could get out of the bunker and fly away before the ship blew up. Also, if I wanted to destroy the turrets, this thing was tanky enough to where I could actually, uh, I'm gonna pull up uh, uh, the chat, um, the DPS calculator, and we're gonna go over, um, how come you didn't load? We're gonna go over, uh, here it is. We're gonna go over the, um, uh, Urkel's. I keep wanting to say Eric's. Urkel's DPS calculator, and we're going to. Uh, oh, look! It's already up. How nice! It just comes with the size two badgers. Okay, but this is this is what's crazy, and um, like hands down the best part of this ship. Let me reset. I don't think it comes with those. So it says it says it's got two size two shields. So it's got the same shield system as like a Vanguard, a heavy fighter. So the base. The base shield says you've got 18,000 hit points, which is fantastic, okay? And it's just, it's, it's just a little bit bigger than a 300. I mean, it's, it's like twice the size of a Pisces, but it's small enough to where you can land it right in and around the bunkers. But let's say you go with the FS, FR-76s, okay? So that's your best version at 1275, okay? But this is what's crazy, crazy. Look at... Um, let's, let's reset. Let's, uh, I want to, I want to, I want to get back to my default. Uh, let's refresh the page. I want to reset the, I haven't figured out how once I, okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. This is what's nuts. Total whole hit points, 113,000 hit points. I've accidentally like AFK'd and meteorited this thing into the planet and like it was glowing red, all the armor was off of it, it was like a frame of a skeleton, but I was still alive and I was like, that's amazing. So, you know, when you factor in the 20,000 hit points, I mean shield, and then the 113,000, it is super tanky, like um, let's go, let's compare it to a uh like um a vanguard a vanguard's only got 42,000 hit points with the same shield configuration right so it's it's got it's got twice the health hit points of a vanguard um which is a heavy fighter let's let's see what a um i mean that's it's a turtle it's it's a terrapin so if you think about it let's let's look at a uh, RSI um, here, let me drag this over. We'll, you know, we'll do it against a, a Mercury Star Runner. Let me go uh, Crusader, Crusader, Mercury Star Runner, right? Here's a Mercury Star Runner. Third, so it's got three times the whole hit points of a Mercury Star Runner, and it's got the same shield configuration. You know, just to give some context of how tanky this is. Now, it's rumored that they're going to come out with a medical variant 
And I think what I'm going to do is if is if they come out with the medical variant, I'll I'll do the upgrade from the explorer to the medical. And reason being is is it'll have a little higher level of fidelity. It'll probably have like the same um, you know med pens and water bottles like the uh, Pisces medical variant. And then um, I'll probably lose my weapon racks but uh, it'll have that same tankiness. And the idea of having that medical ship with the same level of tankiness, when the game, you know, when people are trying to prey on the medical gameplay loop, it gives me like that extra level of survivability because there's no survivability in a Pisces. And this footprint is significantly smaller than the, um, the Drake. It's like half the size of a, um, uh, a Drake Red, a Cutlass Red. And so, if they, whenever they get around to releasing the, uh, I'm going to take this variant and roll it into the, probably the medical variant. Because we don't know when we're going to see the exploration. It, I think exploration is a long ways away. Just have it be a viable uh, gameplay loop. And I would just rather have those extra medical beds. But that's just some thought is the transition or the, the segue phase into, uh, this is so awesome how it zooms into the planet like this. It's hard to get this in other games. Um, anyways, I'm going to end the video here, folks. I hope you like. Uh, please like and subscribe. You know, feedback is always welcome. Let me know what you think of the Terrapin. Uh, you know, criticism is always welcome. I don't, I don't get upset about that shit. So, you know, roast me if you want. That's fine. Talk to you later. Bye.